Hello there everybody on YouTube, welcome back beautiful, how are you doing this morning? My name is Josepha and I am both very excited and very nervous to pull for my NT main, like, you know, one of my favourite characters in this game, which is Vayne. I'm really nervous about it, but I'm really excited and god damn it, I want to pull a BT. I never pull BTs, I get so many comments and stuff saying that they get like four dupes with a BT and I never get one. So I want to pull one, god damn it. Um, obviously I really want the LD most. If I get the LD, then I will stop because Kate Sith is a thing, uh, but god damn it, I want that BT. <laughs> uh, before I get started, obviously I shout out one of my patrons over on Patreon every time I release a video. And today that person is going to be Normskisan, who is a returning patron, so a massive thank you to you for coming on to Patreon as well. And you have school on your title card, and I love making these title cards for people, and I just want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons as well. I know I say it every video, but it really does mean a huge amount to me that people consider my channel something worth supporting, and so it means an awful lot to me. And if you're interested in becoming a patron yourself, then there are links down in the description box below if you'd like to come along for that as well. Now I've come on stream this morning, I haven't slept very well because I'm both excited and nervous for this and I have a Smash tournament later as well. So I'm just going to rip the band-aid off and do this because I don't know any other way to do it. So let's just go. Let's just go. It's a gold orb off the start. Don't do this to me, Vayne. I can't deal with it. Okay, Vayne EX. I was going to say, there's no way it's going to be that good to me. No way. No way is it going to be that good to me. Funnily enough, the last time Vayne EX popped up, I got that in the free pool too. Uh, right, okay. I'm going straight gems. I'm going straight into gems for this. I'm not beating around the bush. I'm not doing anything crazy. We're going straight to gems. I can't even breathe. <laughs> No, don't care about that. No, rubbish. Okay. I want to pull the BT. I never get to pull BTs. I'm, I'm, I really, really want to pull a BT. But if I don't, I will token Vayne. Not now, but I will token him eventually. Yuck. Sure. I don't- I didn't have that. I'm fine with that. That's actually pretty cool. That was something I did want, so... I'm actually not mad at that at all. That I'm a bit mad at. <laughs> Come on, we can do better than this. We could do better than this. <laughs> I'm praying. I'm praying. No, not that. Ew. No, not two of them. <laughs> Ew! No, get out! Stop it. Gold orbs. Gold orbs are like the bane of my existence. Just because they always, like, trick me. Uh, well, we have a full Eroa kit now. Not that I ever really needed the EX. Come on, give me something. Come on, Vayne. You can do this. I mean, this, this month is going to be harrowing for my gems in general. Because I want this, I want Kate Sith, I want Twins, and I want um, um, Auron and Garnet. Oh god, yeah, this month is going to be really expensive. <laughs> Mm, 
Oh, this is going to be... Oh, this is going to be... Don't, please don't make me pity again with no BT. Thank you very much for the sub there, Jay Campen. Oh, it's going to be another rough one, isn't it? Okay, last one. Blue. Oh, well, there we go. We're back to Pity City again, because God forbid I ever get anything nice from this bloody game. <laughs> so, well, I mean, I got Irawa along the way, but yet again, Pity, no BT. Shock horror. I'm not gonna lie, that's aggravating, to say the least considering that I want so much this month, um, but what can you do? Um, thank you very much for watching though, and we'll be back for the Lufenia mission, and I will see you guys for that. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel, and this is really just an extension of the last video, because unfortunately I wasn't able to finish the event in time, because I was trying to use a really interesting team to do it, and I was on a bit of a time constraint because I had to head out for a tournament that I was going to that afternoon. So unfortunately, this is the first time ever that I've uploaded a clear and it not be on day one. So major apologies for that and apologies for my pulls once again not being hype for Vayne. To tell you the truth, I was absolutely heartbroken over those pulls. But luck is luck. There's nothing we can do about it and we just have to move on. And now we have Zach. So... I probably, I wasn't going to pull, pull on Zach at all, and I'm honestly tempted to token Vayne after this if I don't get him here, but I'll throw a few tickets at him, um, and by a few I mean a few, because I'm quite happy to wait for Zach's BT to pull for him, and Kate Sith I may not pull very much on at all now because my luck for Vayne kind of went down the toilet, but... Um, let's just carry on and do the, these pulls and what we have left and then I will hopefully be able to show you a Lufenia clear that I've been working on for this particular mission that should be interesting and fun. So let's see if we can come up with anything from Zach. Okay, so free daily, sure. Free multi. I would be excited for this, but I'll be excited when this actually dings up as Zack. <laughs> or, um, if it, if it shows up as Zack, I'll use him in the clear, because I think it'd be really cool to do that. I don't think you will, though. It'll be Tifa. Oh! Well, that's definitely a, a pick-me-up, for sure. That's... Please don't send me hate for that. Um... <laughs> I hate that that's my initial reaction to that, because I'm scared to be excited. Um, wow. Um, fair enough. At least I have a new toy to play with. That that definitely makes up for, for Vayne. That definitely makes up for Vayne. Um, that would be really cool, actually, the fact that I can use this for, for the event. So thank you very much for being supportive, and please don't be mean to me about pulling this. <laughs> um, so I will take this and... Um, We'll build this up for for the for the event. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in a bit. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. And I'm just, as you can see, I'm just going to be taking a, a very weird team to Lufenia Plus. And I people are talking about bloopers because I had the wrong music on while I was playing. Um, but as you can see, we're not taking Zach, despite the fact that we got him, and we're not taking Vane either. Well, we kind of are. We're using the call ability. But this is a weird. Um, team that we have tried before and I'm actually filming this part because this will probably take a few retries to get there and I want to reiterate that that's okay for that to happen when you look on YouTube and you see these perfect clears sometimes there are a lot of retries that go into them so do bear that in mind but we're taking sets of Beatrix and Core um, for a lot of off turn damage and rainbow damage <laughs> and using Core abilities to get the breaks and relying very heavily on Setzer for this damage um, we did get really close before, we got them down to 2%, but unfortunately, Caius' call broke the enemy with the debuff, the doom, and it didn't tick the orb up. So, be cautious if you're taking Caius to this. Although, I am uploading this late, so chances are everyone's probably already cleared this. So, I'm gonna cut the video here, 
because we're gonna go into it, and if I do retry, then I will say so in the video. Like in the video. So thanks, and I'll see you then. Okay, let's go. Let's let's give this a go, shall we? Like we've gotten close with this before, so I'm confident it can work. Uh, just how confident I am is another matter. If I, if I can't do this in like so many runs, then I'll just take an easier team. Like I'll use Zach. <laughs> Because Rose Petals does a buttload of damage even without sets of call. And obviously I have rainbow damage source from core, which is obviously very helpful. Um, so Snow Break, give to whoever sets that has more turns. And then Lion's Roar. Yeah, also I know I'm using the FF12 music and not taking Vayne, but that's because it keeps it in it keeps it tied in with the Vayne portion of the video. <laughs> uh freeze joker, just because it's not gonna be very useful elsewhere. You have to be very careful when it comes to music uh on videos that I make because of the fact that um Licensing is a thing, so I get a lot of people sit there and go, "You're using the wrong piece of music for this character." I'm like, "There's a reason. <laughs> There's a reason." Uh, Thunder Slash is fine here. Beatrix does a lot of damage if if she has sets of behind her, like a lot. Uh, give two. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do want to apologise again for the fact that this is later than I would like it to be. Um, but I do also want people to know that it's okay that you don't clear an event on day one. Because obviously people like talk to me all about that kind of stuff quite a lot. And I do want people to, to know you really don't have to do these things the same day they come out. You have to be very careful with that kind of thing. You have to be very careful. And I'm very, very cautious about that kind of thing. Because I am somebody that definitely wants to play everything by the book. And do it all um, in a way that doesn't annoy anybody. Well, that didn't even trigger um, Alexander, which is quite nice. Because I'm not ready for Alexander. Oh, did it? Oh, it did trigger Alexander. I'm lying. <laughs> Prisma Flash. I figured Alexander was a safe bet because Beatrix's healing on its own isn't the best, but it's enough. Oh no, that didn't trigger Alexander. That is, um, that's Beatrix's healing, so that's actually quite good. Uh, yeah, you're fine to just snow break, give to Beatrix because they're targeting Beatrix. <laughs> Blue armors here help quite a lot. I get them on YouTube sometimes, but they're like they're they're covers that are like really strange and don't make much sense. Uh, I need to shock. I can't climb hazard just yet. That's really upsetting. I need to shock because they've run out of rose petals. And you need to be red carded because I don't trust you. <laughs> Should have shocked earlier, really. It's my fault. Uh, lines. Oh no, I had a Reaper Scale. Ah! That was silly. Never mind, I'll do it next turn. Can't make mistakes on this run, but. I did. We'll see if we. We'll keep going, though. That's actually fine that I got an extra turn there. And then Rose Petals does its thing. Because Rose Petals is absolute bay. Um, see, now I reckon we're going to start getting triggers for... Um, Alexander, I will take this large launch. Thank you very much. And then now I'm going to Klim Hazard. 
because I really need, I want to get that up ready for when um, I bring in Cloud of Darkness, friend. So that I have that turn to, to proc it all. Right, let's not forget to use Reaper's Gale this time, shall we? That would be a good idea. Oh, I was going to say, in this day and age, I do think HP damage limit is more valuable than brave damage limit. Um, that's going to be that, so... Snow Break's fine. Give to Sets... Oh, no. Yeah, give to Setsa, because he's going to dive bomb this turn. And then we're going to bring in Cloud of Darkness over Setsa. So that we can keep that running. That should be fine. Up there, that should be fine. And the heals, which is nice. I'm not going to Holy Knight Safeguard right now. We're just going to Thunder Slash here. Because this turn I need to Dive Bomb again. And annoyingly, you're still being a pain in the butt for this launch. Sets of dust sets of things. Core does core things. Can't be broken because core, which is fine. They're both targeting. Oh no. Oh, yeah, that's a bit rough. Um, ew. That's really rough, actually. Could do without that. Uh, if I re-break you, specifically... Oh, no. Actually, I don't need to. So if I go Contempt buff for the HP increase, maybe, because I'm going in with Cloud of Darkness next turn, because I shouldn't need to, because they're going to be... Re uh, or you're going to re-breakable. -re 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 I'm going to save it, because I'm going to bring in... Um, Hold next turn anyway, so target sets are. Yeah, I think so too. Star Ocean looked really good. Star Ocean looks really good, but I, I haven't played a Star Ocean since the third game. Where was your break? That's very odd. Uh, well, I, I'm going to have to re-break here because your turn is being... Oh, I can wide angle particle beam, actually. That works. I can do that because that delays by a turn. Because I need that concentration buff gone. And then uh, Thunder Slash. I had heard that people didn't like the last two very much. Concentration is lost. And now we bring in... Uh, Cloud of Darkness. If I break that with the... Actually, no, it's fine. I'm going to re-break. I'm just going just gonna to use the um, the LD straight away. Because that needs to be re-broken anyway. And then Ultra Particle. You can't... I want to get as much damage in with Cloud Darkness as I can, and obviously with, um, when they go past 50%, that damage is going to get a lot lower, so I just have to be cautious with that. Oh, A's going next, aren't you? Mm, that's annoying, because you're going to break Cloud, and I don't want you to break Cloud, because that's going to be a problem. So I could Force of Will, so that I can, that's what I'll do, yep. Force of Will. Because that'll take the orb back up. Uh, it's not the greatest damage in the world, is it? Um, but Lion's Roar. Because then I can use uh, the, prote the HP, the Holy Knight's protection. Not the best. Oh, I can. Well, I can Holy Knight safeguard, and then that will give me some more damage from them. Because these these turns are where the damage lies. <clears throat> Although I could have done without you doing that, Cloud. Um, but never mind. 
An extra turn from break. It'll have to be high speed. It has to be. And we have Reaper's Gale. Good. Um, who has that at the moment? Uh, you... No, nobody does. Um, so I can give this to Beatrix now. We need those rainbow numbers. Core does so much with rainbow numbers, it's crazy. We're under turn. We're under half the half the turn count. We're still at fifty one percent. So we're just we're, so we're at fifty percent, which is really good. Um, and then we'll just Klim Hazard and get that back, which is perfect. See that damage reduction really starts to kick in here. But that was actually a pretty good break, so that was actually fine. So if we high speed particle beam again. Morning Nocturne, how are you? And then that'll take the orb right back up again, which is exactly what we need. Um Moonlit Dawn, I think, just to push you down and Ooh, give it to Cloud of Ah. Do I value the damage more, or do I value keeping Cloud of Darkness protected? I think I value keeping Cloud of Darkness protected. Because if she takes loads of damage, that's really bad. Still doing rainbow numbers, which is good. I know, I'm really excited for FF5 Pixel Remaster. Could have done without that delay, but it's okay. Go on, core, get some damage in. We're under we're we're under fifty percent and we still have the summon. Rose petals as well? Yeah, that's fine. And then we get a free turn here with we're still with Cloud of Darkness as well, which is really good. Um because it means that I can keep on top of the orb. Um so yeah, high speed particle. <laughs> Uh, Holy Knight Safeguard, I think. Yeah, just to be on the absolute safe side. While Cloud of Darkness is on our way out, I think that's important. Because this isn't going to do a lot. Because now, because Core's going to lose fixed dice, so uh, do it over here so we don't lose that launch. It doesn't dispel, and I've got Holy Knight's protection up. So it should be fine. So I'll need to... Oh, no, they lost concentration anyway. So that actually worked out. I wasn't sure, but... <laughs> yeah, go on, core hit for those ones. Yeah, Cod's HP is fine because I've got Holy Knight's protection up, so she won't take damage here, and then she'll regen it before she goes. And then I need to shock with Beatrix this turn. Well, we dive bomb straight away. We dive bomb because we need that up like immediately. <laughs> And then we shock with Beatrix. And then with Setsa, I don't know what I want to do with Setsa actually. I don't need to do anything with you really, I don't think. Um. I could Prismatic Flash to stop you from getting hurt by B, I think. Because I'm going to take damage here, so... Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, 
I mean, Seth's gonna get hurt here. Oh no, that's not too bad. Oh, can we not delay, please? It's very rude. The only tr struggle here sometimes can be the orb itself. Oh, we can Reaper Scale though, I'll take that. And you're now breakable, which is great, we need that. So, give to Beatrix, I think, yeah. I want to say orb tick up, please. Orb tick up, please. Uh, regen. I want to say Saint Cloth, actually. Just so that everyone's got their defences up, yeah. Core, it helps if you actually hit the rainbow numbers, love. Please. See, look, Beatrix understands. He says. <laughs> Oh, cheeky. Getting cheeky with it now, are we? Okay, we hit the 29% now. This is where the real challenge lies. Um, I don't think we need to use... Uh, I could use Contempt here, actually, and see if we can get that little bit of extra damage up from Core. Well, I say, actually, no, I'll save that for the, toward the end. I'll save that for towards the end. Uh, they do enrage, I've discovered. I found that out last night. Uh, oh, they're both doing all attacks. That's a bit frightening. Um, so, Setsa, please. Uh, let's push you back a little bit. 18 turns. I think we'll be okay, you know. I can break with... I've still got two calls that I can break with. I could summon here. Because summon doesn't count towards the thing. Beezorb's not... Well, Beezorb's fine. And I've got rebreak calls. Um, if I summon here... Only because of A. Or I could rebreak and push them up. But... Yeah, actually, I might rebreak and push them up. Thank you very much for the um, restart there, Chissy. Um, yeah, no, I think you're quite right, actually. Summon, Klim Hazard, and then come back with the Holy Knights ready. I think you're right. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. My queen with the damage. Uh, I can safely red card you. Um. Oh, what are you running out of? Alexander's blessing. That's fine. Um, so like thunder slash, I guess. This is where it starts to get a bit tight. Um, yes, so Lion's Roar again. But that breaks A. So, I mean, that's actually fine as long as I get the breaks on. Um, Pris Prismatic Flash is fine. And then, really, I need to use Holy Knight Safeguard now. And just be careful of no nastiness here. So let's go Moonlit Dawn over here. Give to whoever sets her. Because Rose Petals keeps her looking spicy. And I 
think, yeah, A is not going to get broken. So I could freeze Joker for the sake of, um, for, yeah, let's freeze Joker here. Just to be on the, uh, it won't make any difference, but battery is what I was thinking. No, I'm being careful here. Because Core's still got rainbow numbers, just not a lot of them. So that won't do anything, which is good, because Rose Petals will. Provided you actually hit the rainbow numbers, Beatrix. <laughs> Oh no! Beatrix, uh, the core broke it, like, brought it in. Um, that's slightly annoying. Uh, <laughs> it's fine, because I can heal it off with Beatrix at C65. It's just slightly irritating. Uh, I want to say shock. Wait, what's this you're running out of? Fixed. I'll fix dice, so I need to fix dice again this turn. Um, yeah, I'd rather take one than two. I want to say shock. Because damage. I'll just get what I can out of it. Core's still doing it. It's fine, we can deal with that. That's fine, we can heal that back off. We might need to think about, uh, well, also, let's also not forget I have uh, BT phase with Core. Because the turn count is fine. Um, we're fine for turn count. They're targeting, so I need to target Beatrix with this. And then this turn is a, is a dive bomb turn. I haven't used my brakes yet either. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a dive bomb turn. Um, yeah, has to be. Because I need Core to be doing that. Oh, that was rude. That was rude. <laughs> Could we not do that again, please? Uh, HP heal. So that she gets a little bit of regen on top of that. Can we can we not do that again, please? <laughs> oh core don't, please. I need well, actually you can do that, in all fairness, so lions roar. Tentacle knock. Miss, sure. Concentration is lost. Cool. Uh, I actually want you to get a turn here. So, if I Grand Delta, then that puts the orb back up and makes that safer. So, if I do that, I think that's the right call here because I still have another one. Because then that ticks that way back up, which is perfect. Um, Prismatic Flash, I think, is the right call here. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think I have um, Clim Hazard up for this turn. I d oh no, I have Holy Knight Safeguard. Perfect. Because then I can do um, damage phase with Core. Core will deal with it. Core will deal with it. Um, now, do I just go off now, or do I wait till the next turn? Can I afford to wait? I think I can afford to wait one more turn, because they're not targeting... Let me just check something. Oh, I have the Contempt up still. I could do that. I haven't used it. Um... Because I've still got four turns, five turns of fixed dice. I think I can wait another turn. I think. I think I'm going to, regardless, and target Beatrix. No. I think, uh, I think I'm going to wait here. Because it means I've got another Reaper's Gale to, go to start with. 
aggravate. So, provided that I can do that, that's good. Uh, I don't need to do that, so I can, well I can red card, um, yeah, I can red card B and then just go off with core. Unless of course Setsu decides he wants to jump turns. Yeah, I'm going to use the last break call here, which should be with Beatrix. And then shock. And then I want to say red card because it's gonna it's damage. Yeah. Reapers. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. And it was the first try as well. Just putting that out there. It was the first try. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was stressful. <laughs> but BT-less team. BT-less team. Scores there. Score. Yep. Yeah, yeah, done. Oh. <laughs> All done. So core Beatrix and Setsa. And whew, it got a bit spicy at times. But I, I'm really pleased that we got that clear in the end. So thank you all very much for coming along. And thank you very much for the follows there, Ofa Summer and Ramon Cho, and for the Prime sub Ofa Summer as well. Thank you very, very much. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I apologize that it's late, but it was worth it to do it with a team like this. So thank you very much and stay tuned for Should You Pulls on Kate Sith and Shelk coming very soon. And obviously I will be streaming all of those things as well. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. And I will see you next time and I will try to make something slightly less stressful for the case of the event. See you soon. <laughs>